so here we have the basic running of the water sprinkler system. So it's executed and brings up the boot menu. Uh, from the boot menu, options that were incorporated include uh, starting the system, changing the current date and time, changing the scheduled watering time, uh, changing the desired moisture level, and watering immediately. So we'll just go ahead and explore these a little bit. So if we choose one to change the current date and time, we can set our date to uh, 3, 3, 3, just to be interesting, 2, and second, 58. So we can see here the time has been set. Then we can change our scheduled water time to, to water hour, 3, minute, 2, and uh, second, 59. You can see that that's been set as well. So if we go to start the system, it should start watering after one second because our default clock will have been one second before. And there we can see, we'll just stop it right here. We had one second elapsed, then it was time to water. The time now is given. Each of the sensors from each of the nodes uh, took moisture readings, motion readings, and then if the sprinklers were started, it was because the moisture and motion readings were uh, low values. Okay, here we'll just do a quick uh, base case again. Uh, so we're just running the water sprinkler, and we'll just have it start the system right away. And yep, by default, um, the clock was set to two seconds before the scheduled time of 3 a.m so that when the time to water came, it was able to take all the readings necessary and go through with that. Now looking at it a little bit more closely, um, what happens is the sprinklers start and then they run for 10 seconds before the allotted time given to run them uh, expires. And then they finish watering. And we've gone back into a loop that runs uh, for 24 hours until the scheduled time is reached again. Okay, here we'll have a system where one of the motion detectors is monitoring um, that motion is occurring. So we'll just run the system again. And we'll be able to see right there that a motion reading was detected the announcement is made, and because the motion doesn't stop, that sprinkler, or that node is not water. Okay, so here we'll have a case where the moisture level is higher than it, it needs to be. So when the sensor is run, see right here that the moisture reading is 7. So sprinkler 2 may remain off unless it's needed by another node in order to water. So that's that. Okay, and one last case where the motion sensor at one node senses something and the moisture sensor on another node um, reads that the moisture is at an adequate level above the desired optimum. Yep, so you can see the sprinkler remaining off and the motion detected. 